Previously on Doom 2016. Come here, bitch. Oh, what the hell? Punk ass motherfucker. Get, get punched, bitch. Get your face ripped open. Come on, who else wants some? Who else wants some? There's another Hell Knight. What the hell? There we go. Alright, let me take this fucker out. This riled shield fuck real quick. Well. Badass. Okay, so they might it went away. Kinda do like the micro missiles. Of course, the uh, micro missiles do take a lot out of your inventory, though. Right? Or. Yeah, that's right. Or, okay. I thought you had to shoot them all down. <clears throat> Hello, old friend. I've missed you. Aha! I knew. Uh, so it was this level, I think. Yep, they're like, Psych! You ain't done yet, motherfucker! Bring your big asses up here, punk ass bitch. Hit. Got him. Lazarus Labs. You are at the heart of the UAC occult, the Lazarus Labs. This is where Olivia released the demons from their cells and activated the Lazarus Wave, turning UAC personnel into unwilling possessed. You're in search of her private offices where the Helix Stone is stored. Unlock the secrets of this sacred artifact to find out how to shut down the whale, the Argent Tower's energy source in Hell. Well... Lazarus. Well, sucks to be you, Mary, that you're still at work. You know, you could be nice. Well, fuck it. Your mom's already picking you up anyways. You'll find the Helix Stone in Olivia's private archival lab deep within this facility. Few have ever seen the stone. But if you came to us for a reason, you might be able to see something in it we haven't. That's a lot ahead. Anyways, I was going to say, Mary, too bad your mom is picking you up, or else I'd say, you could be nice and ask my sister to pick you up and bring you here, but that would just defeat the purpose if you're just going to be leaving shortly anyways. Alright, so what are the challenges for today? Variety is the spice of death, too. Perform five different glory kills on a possessed soldiers, alright? Thread the needle. Kill eight demons with a single shot. Eight demons with a... Okay, so that... Wait. Okay, so maybe I could probably use, like, the, um, gauze cannon. Wait, kill eight demons with a sing- Okay, so yeah, so... I would probably have to use that precision bolt. So I'm pretty sure there's probably gonna be an area where hopefully there are demons, like, perfectly lined up. That, or maybe they just mean a single shot, so maybe just exploding a barrel might count, too. I don't know. Time well spent. Play a game of demon destruction. What the fuck does that mean? Unless there's like a little arcade game here that we get to like fucking just mess around with. No, bitch, I'm not going to waste my time getting you. I'm streaming. You figure it out. All right.
It is not a mistake that he has come into our possession. The demons prophesized his return. If he awakes, it could jeopardize the entire mission. For he is the only one who can stand against them. I like how he just stands there. Doesn't say shit. <clears throat> Decoded entry 202, an important message. Fellow disciple, this message has been sent to you in recognition of your service to the Lazarus Project. I am Olivia Pierce. You have been granted the highest level of clearance we allow at the Lazarus Project. And as such, you are expected to partake in all rituals, sacrifices, and vivisection programs, both demon and human, as requested whether as a practitioner of the dark arts or as a patient of, of a cleansing. As we work tirelessly to open the gates to hell, we remember our mantra, the science will cleanse us. Our recent expedition to the Great Steppe resulted in the retrieval of new tablets which will help us further decode the helix stone. I must reiterate again the importance of fully decoding the stone. The scriptures tell us that it holds the key to both realizing our future and destroying us. So we must know it before the enemy. The enemy will come and we must be ready. While we are deciding the latest artifacts and relics, there will be no rest, no leave, and no sleep. We must succeed our lives meant nothing. Or our lives mean nothing. Whatever. Opening the gate is everything. Alright, so we got seven weapon points. Intimacy uh, stagger, so that's an obviously an easy one. The armor one's gonna take a minute. All right, so what do we have that's worth upgrading? Barrels of fun, immune to explosive barrel damage. Uh, we'll hold off on that. That one, this one's done. Yeah, that one requires four. That one requires four. Increases the length of time that power up will remain active. Three, four. So this one we can do last. So let's see. I think further decrease recharge duration of equipment. That would probably be a better one. Or actually, I think we'll go with hot swap first. So we'll get one more Praetor suit token, and then we'll unlock hot swap. But for weapons, what can we? Siege mode. So. This one, if I remember correctly, this one should penetrate through anything in a single shot. I think that's what it said. So we'll do energy of, hold on, wait, what is it? Reduces time to max charge and reduces the time in between shots. Move at full speed when zoomed. So let's go ahead and do this one first. But now we need two more to unlock that one. All right, we're good on fuel, so we don't need that. Attention to all Lazarus personnel. There will be an open forum to resolve any questions or concerns on the initiative to weaponize the demons. Report to the chapel at 1400 hours. Please save your word before attending. Siphon grenade. A siphon grenade decoded entry one of one. The siphon grenade was designed to work with the Doom Marines Plato suit, specifically to make use of the Argent receptors found in the gloves and chest plates. The grenade has three steps. When primed, the grenade releases a positively charged particle field around itself and the operator's hand. Then when the grenade is released and explodes, it releases a negatively charged particle field. Over a distance of a few meters, the negatively charged particles attract argent plasma from any demon caught in the radius, tearing the plasma from their cells. Finally, the positively charged Praetor suit then attracts the negatively charged argent cloud and gathers the plasma. This siphons energy back into the suit, partially healing the doom marine so this would be good to throw at like the uh, man cubi because of how fucking slow they move and stuff like that so let's um, try the siphon grenade if it'll work out that way so health stations All right, so let's drop down
think that's the only thing that I think is. Let's see some. Oh wait. Oh shit, I already did three out of the five already. Now I, I just forgot what, what completely what the deaths were, but I'm pretty sure the next one could be a death from above and then one like taking them from the rear attack. Alright, so there's a Praetor suit token. So does this Okay, looks like we have to crawl through something. Thank you for the link there, Solus. Alright. Pretty sure there's gotta be a different one. Did his head just explode? I think he did. Alright, that was a close one. Oh, that one's out of ammo, so I'm got to start. Oh, never mind. There's an ammo box right there, so that should give me plenty of ammo. Yes, ammo me. Alright. There's got to be a secret somewhere, because my... Uh sensors going off oh what's in here ah secret found oh just the mega charge but not going to complain really really oh wrong one Uh, who else wants some? Where you fucks at? <clears throat> Alright. Who is left? Oh shit. Who else wants some? Okay, so there's a gore nest, and there's a... Is that haste? Or, no, wait, that's not haste. Is that a haste? No. Haste is yellow. Which is that one again? Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Ammo all over me. Come on. I know it's probably just starting off with light duty demons right now. Oh shit, challenge complete. Never mind. I thought there was more. Shit! Oh shit, he collapsed. What was the other? Play a, de a game of demon... Okay, so that, that that has to be literally what they're talking about, maybe. Kill eight demons with a single shot. Overheated, of course. Who else is left? Oh, that he glory kills him while I was in midair. But no, when I was trying to do it to the revenant, it didn't want to do it. That's right. Really?
Eat it, you fat fuck. Alright, so it wasn't that bad the second time around. <clears throat> To me is best, so yeah, I know. I guess you could call it like reuse Hadouken. That's uh, intimacy, that's that one. So let's go ahead and swap this one. Kill 50 demons during speed boost. Let me see if this one means that I have to just kill them while I'm jumping it while I'm still in the air. The, uh, it makes no point. Because that would be like 30 revenants, which I'm pretty sure isn't possible, but I'm pretty sure they just mean I have to be in the air while they're being killed, so. And I already did thread the needle. Okay, so that one's going to be an interesting to do. Alright, is there anything that looks like it's a collectible around here? Alright, so it looks like there's a... Looks like there might be... Is it up here? Somewhere, probably. Looks like there might be... Probably look, I have to find a way through. Maybe it's where this door is. Or maybe that's just another way. Oh. Gotta be if there if there's an asshole right there in my way. Olivia activated the hell wave from somewhere inside this facility. I did hope she could rise above their influence. I was wrong. She proved to be weaker than I thought she'd be. Okay, so never mind. Looks like that's where I need to go. So uh, let's go. Huh. Okay, so there's a door out there. So I'm wondering if I'm supposed to jump up somewhere and then go back, or. Oh, hold on. It's this way. Here, wait, wait, ah, here we go. There it is. I'm smarter. All right. All right, what codex did we just get? The database, so it's gotta be, oh, elite guard, no. Oh, there's another Dakota entry on these guys. So let me see. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure which one we probably already read, but I think we've already read this one. So let's see what, if it's Dakota entry two. Dakota entry two or two. UAC employees are advised to comply with any orders received from an elite guard. Their jurisdiction is absolute, answering only to the highest level executives in the UAC. If an elite guard kindly requests that you accompany them to the Lazarus Labs, you will be going to the Lazarus Labs. With such powerful capabilities in each elite guard, it was deemed necessary to implant a kill chip in each uniform so that they might also be controlled should an uprising occur among the ranks. The kill chip responds to a Lazarus wave signature that can only be broadcast by Samuel Hayden or Olivia Pierce. Which would probably mean that Olivia Pierce probably had all these guys dispatched. <laughs> Alright. Oops. So now we can go back here and not worry about it. Keep going along our way. I wonder if this is the area where you fight the cyber demon. If not, then it's probably got to be the next one. Uh, 
Okay, so maybe there is no upgrades for the BFG. And all right, so what do we want to upgrade? I guess we'll go with Heat Blast. And then I'll switch back to that. Decoded entry three of three, Heat Blast. Oops. Ugh. A copper crucible attached to the focusing lens of the plasma rifle absorbs a residual thermal energy from the weapon and can discharge it <laughs> instantly by transferring the heat to the borosilate kit diffusion chamber. This creates a heat wave from the end of the weapon that causes localized damage and sometimes creates a parasite wave that will knock back targets. The crucible recharges with normal use of the weapon. While the operator of the weapon is partially shielded from the charge, it is recommended that a thermal protection uniform, such as the x suit prototypes, be worn while operating this modification. And what's this? Oh, just to let you know that that's unlocked too now. Alright, so I think that's a map, auto map. And then we got a codex and a rune trial coming up. Oops, the hell? Alright, so we are good on fuel. The hell was that? Oh! This has to be, this must be the level with the, with the, uh... God damn it, I just missed him! I know you see the big motherfucker walking by! This has to be the level with the, uh, Cyber Demon then. Cause I think he, uh, cause yeah, I think you... You catch a glimpse of something big walking through here, and I missed it. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure if you already played this game, you've already seen it anyways. Okay, so I just have to be in the air when they die. I wonder if uh, glory killing in the air counts. Let's see. Uh, uh, maybe it does. Okay. I think it counted. that that's probably gonna take me to uh let me see that's probably the direct actually no maybe not because hmm. dropping down there will take me to that so Hold on, let me see. Before we drop down there, let's... Where the hell did I go? Oh, here am I. Let's get this real quick. <clears throat> Aha! Cyber Demon. Dakota Entry 2 of 3. This data is located in the Lazarus... Oh, wait. The hell? I don't know why it just didn't pop up. Decoded entry two of three. The Korak, the Korak tablets discovered during the UAC automated survey of 2143 mentioned an ancient battle in the Titan's realm. During the Third Age, an expedition to the plains recovered several relics, including the petrified remains of a massive shadow lord believed to be an ancient Balagard demon. Researchers in the Lazarus Labs began work on piecing the creature back together. At first, the project mandated was to construct an educational and inspirational exhibit. However, the focus quickly shifted when an attempt to meld the petrified tissue uncovered that exposure to small doses of plasmatic plasmatic urgent energy would reanimate the relic. The potential of creating living, growing tissue from the relic and the lure of the ultimate battle demon was too enticing to pass up. The project, team, the project team quickly shifted direction and began work on melding the ancient remains with high-tech weaponry. Okay, so in this version, the cyber demon is an augmented is an augmented being then. Oh, shit. Oh, so cocksucker got himself another shield. Oh. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it since it drained his his life force. 
All right, so that's going to take me to the rune challenge. So let, let's go ahead and get this auto map first then. Fuck it. Yeah, cause this is where Big Boy was was just walking. Ah, he busted out of this chamber. What else? Oh, uh, Lazarus Labs, Dakota M3, one of two. The Lazarus Labs is a subdivision of the Advanced Research Complex and is only accessible at the highest clearance levels. Located deep underground to prevent infiltration or e exfiltration, the Lazarus Labs are home to the longest serving and most dedicated UAC staff. Information regarding the Lazarus project is hard to come by as its members are highly creative, secretive, and well disciplined. What is known is that any cross-dimensional anomalies Entities or artifacts are immediately sent to the Lazarus Labs for research and are never seen again. However, promotion to the Lazarus Project is considered a bat of a badge of honor among the UAC staff, despite not knowing exactly what their work will entail. Alright, so armor still in that one still. <clears throat> I told her if she would ask nicely, she couldn't get her, but I just didn't see the point in Crystal picking her up if she's just gonna fucking just up and leave, too, at the same time. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back. Alright, and see if this... Because I can hear it. So maybe it's got to take us in that direction. Ugh. Okay, so it's a closed area, so... Not sure if we have to finagle our way in there. Or what. Ow. <clears throat> there you go. That works. I'm not sure if that counted. All right. So it seems like, yeah, we're going away. So there has to be. something we have to open or is there an opening in the roof somewhere doesn't look like so there has to be a, a hidden path passage passage somewhere ah there you go Secret it's found. Oh, here it is. I don't know why I have the rocket launcher out. Alright, so what is this moon trial and what does it consist of? Alright, someone's having a bad day. Or had a bad day, I should say. Oh shit, you can see the eyeballs on this one. Rune Trial, armed with the rocket launcher and using only the resources found in the area, eliminate all targets before the time expires. Targets will not drop resources when destroyed. Rich get richer. Firing your standard weapons will not cost ammo when you have 100 armor or more. Well, of course, that one never lasts long for me because the armor is always the first fucking thing to go. And using only the resources found in the area, eliminate all targets. Okay. <clears throat> Without blowing yourself the fuck up that is <clears throat> here we go
Oh shit! It's a floating head! Suck it, you ball of head! Oh shit. How did that not kill him? Alright, who's left? Oh shit! I got hit by a fucking charging specter. All right. At least you can, I wouldn't call it stun lock, but at least the direct hit with the rocket launcher stops them in their, in their place when they're trying to charge up, charge at you. Actually, not charge up, but... <clears throat> They charge and do not stop until you break their line of sight or you jump up, up on a on a ledge or something. <clears throat> Alright. So let me see. Would this be an easier one to upgrade? Fill your armor value. So find... Uh, firing your standard weapon. Okay, so... Activate rich... Fill your armor value up to 12 times max at to max 12 times. Activate, get richer at 75% armor. Okay. So <clears throat> it goes from 100 to 75 if it's upgraded. But I will. Actually, you know what? Why do I have, still have Seek and Destroy on? I might as well just switch that one out for um, that one. That way. And this one's in, this one's upgrade. So let's uh, blood fueled. Uh, that one we're working on. So we'll do kill fifty demons during the speed boost. Okay. And then the rich get richer. Uh, okay. All right. So we got more weapon points too. So let's go ahead and spend those and our praetor suit so i think i wanted to do this one first rapid charge purchase and go to the precision bolt purchase that volatile discharge demons killed by the precision bolt will will explode dealing damage to nearby enemy demons mastery challenge kill five hell knights with a precision bolt headshot well, that'll be a fucking hard one, unless I stagger them first. Uh, let me see. Uh, allow movement. So, the precision bolt is the one I think that should shoot through everything. Alright, let's... Uh... Actually, let's go back to the map real quick. So, here we go. Alright, so got a little bit of ways to go before we go to new items. Oh, there you go. Alright. Checkpoint reached. Wonder what the the hell? Oh, never mind. Wonder what the fuck that is that they're working on down there. All right, so we got a Praetor suit token and still got three more elite guards, one more rune trial, and an Argent cell somewhere. <clears throat> Somebody's rib cage, or what's left of it. All right, that 
this poor bastard. That's probably part of him right there then. Then you got all these sad poor sons of bitches. Rocket launcher, which I guess we're full on rockets. Alright, fuck it. I'm all, it always seems that like I'm always close to the max health whenever I find those stupid health stations. That's the only thing that sucks. Right, let's see if there's anything around here before we drop down. Descent into madness. Really? How did he un get unstun locked that fucking fast? What the fuck? I guess you can't kill him when he's in animation? That's kind of stupid. Hey, die already, shit. Oh shit, there's health for days that I'm not even capitalizing on. <clears throat> Alright, who's left? Oh, there's one more big guy. Semi big guy. He's not really a big guy. He's just a semi hulking in your face asshole. <clears throat> Demon presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. All right, anything in this room? All right, Praetor Suit token. Which would be... Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, here we go. I will take that, thank you. And this is just nothing. All right, so I'm assuming we have to go down there. Anything else to note? Give me my ammo. All right, before we go and rip that door open, because I'm assuming that's where they want us to go. This is just taking us back over here, I'm assuming. Yeah. One more for that. Shit! How much fucking... Oh, what the hell got... Oh, shit! I 
All right, so now we don't have to worry about a cooldown. But now I'm kind of concerned about not dying. Give me that fucking tooth, you pink fuck. Get stabbed in the eye. God damn it with the pinkies! Alright, fuck it. Of course I ran out of fucking ammo now. Get slapped with your back fat. Fuck it, I know it's a waste, but... Too many pinkies in such an enclosed area. Hey, Mr. Lurch, how you doing? Well, I'm progressing, if that's what you want to know. I mean, I got my ass kicked a few times in the prior little arena fight. And then, just recently... I just got bulldozed by one of those fucking pinkies in this area before I cleared them out in the second round. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Okay, so there's a toy round. Wait, there was another power up in here? <clears throat> okay, so it looks like there's a... Is there an area we're supposed to go underneath? Or... Oh, never mind. There was just a uh, slab that was just small enough. Oh, oh yeah, I know. It's definitely not a Doom game if you get your ass kicked from time to time. But, you know, it would be nice to be one of those individuals who can actually complete this game on an ultra nightmare run but i am nowhere at that skill level you can come in you, i just don't know throw him out though don't mind the ruckus my girlfriend is an idiot trying to catch a cat you could sit on the floor yeah like I said, I'm not trying to be fucked up, but there's nowhere else for you to sit because the couch is covered up by the green screen. Alright. You know, what Ghost wants to probably do is sit his fat ass on top of my computer tower since that's where all the hot exhaust is to heat up whatever balls he has left. Uh, don't mind the laughter. That's my girlfriend. She's just hanging out with me because... She got left at work. She, her pickup didn't get her. So, my brother-in-law picked her up out of pity. And she's flipping me off right now. Okay, so... Down we go. What the fuck just happened? Uh... Okay. That was weird that the, oh, I bet you it's because I bet you it's because I was using the I'm using the Vulcan driver. The Vulcan driver is a little bit slower, but they say it's supposed to offer a smoother gameplay. So, that's probably why for that little stupid delay for that short little cutscene which makes no goddamn sense. Yeah, I know. Um I don't think I can even get past the first level in this game on Ultra Nightmare there, Lurch, but I was able to get all the way on Doom Eternal. I was all the way to get to, um, fuck, I forgot the name of the third level in um, Doom Eternal, but I finally made it past the pit area. I remember that was a challenge for most people, and then sometime after that, I got killed, and that's where my, that's the farthest I've gotten in an Ultra Nightmare run on Doom Eternal. Alright, so what do we got around this area? Alright, so we got Argent Energy up over here. Uh, is that where they want us to go? Oh, you know what? Maybe something opens down there, so we probably have to go there regardless. 
And it looks like we're full on ammo. You should not have allowed his location to be discovered. You have failed us. It was not me. It was Samuel. He led them to his tomb. Please. We can overcome this. I promise. The gate will be opened as planned. I wonder, now that I think of it, I wonder if that demonic voice is the spider mastermind, since that's technically what she turns into in, in the, um, at the end of this. Dakota entry two of three, Olivia Pierce. Samuel saw Olivia as a protege. He sponsored her during her formal education and was the driving force behind her promotion to the Global Science Council. Olivia made her fortune as one of the founders of Nanostruct Aerospace and Defense Systems. In part thanks to a sizable donation from Samuel, Olivia's career blossomed and Samuel eventually offered her the freedom to design and run her own cutting-edge laboratory by joining the UAC. Olivia refused, citing that she had no interest in the energy business. When Olivia did finally leave Nanostruct, it came as a shock to the scientists community, she relinquished a position of sizable power and control to work at an isolated outpost 140 million miles from Earth. A former colleague of Olivia's at Nanostruct stated that Samuel sent her an um, artifact recovered near the Argent Fracture, after which she became obsessed with joining the UAC. A few weeks later, she accepted the offer and became the leader of the Lazarus Project, working directly under Samuel Hayden. Alright, let's go back to the map. So there's Argent Energy... behind us so there's got to be probably a way uh, a way around <clears throat> ah okay so that's where we have to go and that's probably what's gonna make us go back down because there's still I think unexplored area down below oh there's me and there's my sarcophagus give me my ammo Enjoying yourself down there? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna max. Actually, you know what? Is our health already maxed out, or is it just maxed out because of the mega charge? Okay, so it's from the effects of the mega charge. So let's go ahead and max out health first. And what is this? Nothing. Oh, let me grab that. That's a must have. So we only got one of those. Manual security activated. All terminals now accessible. Is there anything else in here? No. All right, now that we have unlimited ammo, because we have our health up I mean our armor up we could fire infinite rockets for the time being the demonic crucible Might as well take advantage of having infinite rockets for the time being. 
or actually not. Oh, never mind. Not. We don't have unlimited ammo again. Okay, so maybe I probably could use the siege bolt or siege mode, whatever it's called. All right. He's like, oh, my dick. If I had one. I take it this just continuously plays or does it stop? Right, is there anything else? Uh, there's another prayer suit token coming up. Oh, okay, yeah, it does end. Anything in here? No. Alright. Oh, somebody got impaled with a sword. Alright, and not sure what these motherfuckers are doing. Alright, almost time to meet an old enemy. Ah, there's the prayer suit token. Alright. Not sure, it's, I know it's after 7, not sure if my cousin is streaming because I'm not sure if the plumber's still fixing his shit or not. That would just happen. Alright, up we go, I guess. Um... Uno momento. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> what else? All right, so I think we should... Oh, shit. That was dumb. I really didn't realize I still had that. Alright, what's the 
this another arena fight or just a bunch of randos? And then is there any more items or is this oh yeah, a couple more items. Oh wow, this that level is actually pretty big. Alright, so another rune trial and another Praetor suit token at the end. Oh shit. Fuck! Wrong button. I mean, uh, wrong weapon again. I wanted to stun him with the plasma gun. I heard something about me. Okay, still got a little ways to go. <laughs> All right, what are they talking about here? Lazarus wave at full charge, ready for activation. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Calendar Sanctum for this reason. I knew she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks, and I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. Oh shit. That motherfucker was around the corner waiting for me. Where's the shooting come? Oh, from down here. I was wondering, like, where the fuck is the shooting come from? the hell? The fucker. Security station activated. But do they want me to go down here? don't want to drop down yet so there probably has to be somewhere that I'm missing to get to there let's see Oops. there a crawl space somewhere ah here we go And the prayer suit token and some BFG ammo. I will take that. Alright, what's this rune challenge? Armed with the God's Cannon and using only the resources found in the area, eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Health levels are critical and targets will not drop resources when destroyed. Saving throw. Get one chance to survive a death blow and recover health. This resets on death. 
Okay, so that's where saving throw from Doom Eternal came from. I forgot about that. This was in this one. All right, so using a gauze cannon, so this is gonna kind of suck, if we're, especially if they start throwing heavy demons at us. And we got no health to boot. Gotta go. All right, have fun. Drive safe. Fuck. Okay, so it's only one enemy at a time, so that I could uh, somewhat deal with. But you ain't got no leg, Lieutenant Dan. Oh shit. Shit! <laughs> Ran right into my ass. All right, just one more. Where's the? Is the? Is the? Is it the Kako that's still alive, or is it you? There we go. I'm guessing it was just him, because I don't recall killing the Kako demon. Alright, well. Saving throw is kind of nice to have, especially if you're not doing an Ultra Nightmare run. Well, I mean, it does help on an Ultra Nightmare run, but you don't really... It's not necessary, since it resets after death, so... Oh, did I already, uh... Alright, whatever. Okay, so that is... Two secrets we missed. Well... Whatever. Fuck it. Not gonna waste too much time now, because we're already close towards the end for, of this level, that is. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Oh shit, back to a new area, or not a new, is this back to where we started? Alright, let's try not to die so quickly now. This level's kind of cramped. Something's beating my ass. Alright, That's gotta be a... Hell Knight. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Ammo, I mean armor, armor, armor. Really? There is no way in hell. Well, that was one perfectly good sh waste of a fucking good BFG shot. How the hell did he hurt me? What happened to the other? There was two Mancubi. What happened to the other one? Did he explode because he was next to the other one? But still, that was fucking bullshit. All I did was try and turn around and shoot the goddamn BFG and oh! Fall off the platform and shoot the platform. Fucking horse shit. Uh, 
Uh, and what would that sound clip uh, be of there, Senor Fruity? <clears throat> All right, what else is there that we can scavenge before leaving here? Alright, so I'm guessing they want me to go this way. Is there anything important around here? No? Alright. Oh, we're going up. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it just the one of me recently getting getting pissed off over that dumb shit? Alright, here we go. Let's see. What is this? Dakota Entry 303. During the Cyber Demon reanimation project, the beast was kept alive by controlling the amount of plasmatic argent energy it received. This kept the beast in an effectively brain-dead state while additional components were cybernetically implanted. A neural pathway was created between the creature's brain and the argent accumulator, allowing the creature to administer argent power to any part of its body as needed. In hindsight, this neural pathway was a mistake at was once the pathway was activated, the dormant beast immediately administered an argent surge to the medulla oblongata, which allowed it to restore motor function. Once active, the circuitry, circuitry system quickly restored and the beast achieved full motor function within a few minutes. It is only through the bravery of follower Jacobson that the beast was contained. <gasps> <clears throat> Follower Jacobson willingly gave his own life as bait when he lured the giant diver demon into holding pen 6, where it could be contained. Unfortunately, there was no way to retrieve Jacobson once the doors had been bolted, and he was sacrificed. A report following the incident suggested that this act was not instinct by the cyber demon, but rather a suggestion of a greater intelligence governing the will of any creature demon born, a mastermind of sorts. Research on this theory continues. Alright, so... Firing your standard way. Okay, so that one upgrade boost, kill 50 demons during speed boost, and then the armor. So that one is the one in hell that we miss. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's a saving throw, so I'm not too concerned about that one right now. Alright, so we got some more weapons points. So let's see if we can do some more upgrading. And then that one, there we go, purchase that. And then we'll wait for one more Praetor Suit token so we can unlock Dex Dexterity. Actually, what? that was the one that I was supposed to do first, but I fucking forgot. But, oh well, we're, we're that one's going to be next anyway, so it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and heal up really quick. Armor up and ammo up. All right. All right, here we go. The fun part. That's a big hulky motherfucker. Oh shit, oh shit. Can that still hurt me? Ah, shit, I didn't get, I didn't, uh, stop him in time before he can, um, Oh, 
Oh, you're going down, asshole. <clears throat> At least you got a checkpoint. This part just sucks because now you're now you're in an enclosed area with this fucker. Really? Oh shit, he fucking chopped my fucking head off. Break off his fucking big ass antler and chop his fucking head off with it. Let me see if it'll let me read this. Dakota Entry 1 of 3. Considered to be the most significant marker of success in the development of Argent Organic Research, the Sava Demon is the flagship creation of the Lazarus Project, the symbiotic union of a Balgard demon found during the second Project Lazarus Man Expedition MTC 2148-177. And an Argent Accumulator, this beast is capable of withstanding so much punishment that the creature must be kept in a permanent suspended animation. Repeated attempts to subdue the beast prove unsuccessfully unsuccessful as when exhausted. The cyber demon simply replenishes its life force from the accumulator and attacks again with greater ferocity. Only by removing the Argent implant can the beast be restrained. The cyber demon remains in stasis until a pseudo method of control can be found. All right, let's move on to actually hold on. Before this level ends, let's see if there's any more weapon points that we can uh, purchase. All right, so let's go with Big Shock, I guess. Oops, where is it? Oh, here it is. All right, and then obviously we need one more Praetor Suit token to unlock the other, the um, Hot Swap feature, ability, whatever. Still no idea what the hell. Next time on Doom 2016. Ah, here goes another story of the Slayer right here. The age of his reckoning was uncounted. The scribes carved his name deep in the tablets of hell across eons. A ditch battle etched terror in the hearts of the demons. They knew he would come. As he always had, as he always will, to feast on the blood of the wicked. For he alone could draw strength from his fallen foes, and ever his power grew swift and unrelenting. Alright. Well, that might have been a little dumb just sitting there taking it. Oh, wait, there's a power up up there. I think it's a haste. Let me go grab that really quick. Well, I thought I saw a power up. Let me. Eat your heart. Eat your heart out, fat book. No time. Yep, there's the Baron, so let's go ahead and lure him into an area where we can... Push it. 
Come on. Oh, shit, shit. Damn it. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Yeah, it wasn't high enough. Let's start lighting these fools up. All right. Go. Come on. Yeah, that's why I wanted to wait for the heavier demons. I'm not going to eliminate your fucking stupid shit ass real quick, too. 